Hey everybody, today we're going to take a quick tour of the Incredibles playset in Disney Infinity. Before we begin, there are a couple things you should know. First of all, make sure your Disney Infinity base is plugged in and you have set the power disc that came with your Disney Infinity starter pack in the hexagon shaped pad. In order to jump into the Incredibles playset, you have to use one of the Incredibles characters. Since Mr. Incredible came with your starter pack, that's who we will use today. Place Mr. Incredible on the circle shaped pad on the left side of the Disney Infinity base. Now we're ready to get started. Once you are in the playset, you are immediately thrown into the action. Follow the green arrows on the screen, but don't feel the need to rush. There are a couple of red capsules laying around that you will want to pick up. Remember, red capsules are more common, easier to reach, and contain toys for the playset. As you climb up on the pipes of the first platform, be sure to stop and open the chest with a picture of Mr. Incredible on it. The chest contains a new toy, the Mr. Incredible costume. There are several of these chests scattered throughout the playset, but in order to open them, you have to be playing as the character that is displayed on the chest. For example, if you find a chest with a picture of Dash, you have to be playing as Dash in order to open the chest and get the toy. As you make your way through the opening part of the playset, you will have to fight several Omnidroids. You can send them packing by approaching them and hitting the attack button. For PS3 users, that is the triangle, while Xbox 360 users will want to press Y. These robots do shoot missiles at you, so you either have to dodge them, or you can block them by pressing the circle on your PS3 controller, or B if you are an Xbox 360 user. Once you are through the opening portion of the playset, we are introduced to your car. This is not a normal car. It can do some pretty neat things. Once you are in the car, take a moment to familiarize yourself. Try pressing the L1 button for the PS3 or the left bumper for the Xbox 360. This will cause your car to jump up in the air and spin around, facing you in the opposite direction. This is pretty handy for when you're in a tight spot and need to retreat quickly. Next, PS3 users should press the X button while Xbox 360 users can press the A button. This will cause your car to jump straight up in the air. This is a great way to avoid running into fences, barriers, or other vehicles when things get crazy. Continue on and complete a couple of the main missions. You will encounter several Omnidroids as you do. You can either attack them as we discussed before, or you can simply hit them with your car. Be sure to stop and collect all the sparks and coins. You will need them later on in the playset to purchase several toys. After you complete the mission, Rooftop Rescue, where you save three people stranded on the roofs of nearby buildings, there is a nearby challenge called Race Around Town. Look for the yellow beacon and approach it while in your car. This is another good way to earn some extra coins. Remember, after you beat the challenge on easy, the beacon will turn orange, giving you a chance to beat it on medium. If you handle that without any troubles, feel free to test your driving skills by driving into the now red beacon to attempt the challenge on hard. That should just about do it, everyone. Remember to keep your eyes out for sparks, coins, capsules, and challenges. All are great ways to level up, earn money, and unlock toys. For a complete guide to Disney Infinity, be sure to check out www.primagames.com where you can find both the Disney Infinity official game guide and the official e-guide. Let us know in the comments below, what is your favorite part of the Incredibles playset? Have fun, everybody!